So, very stupidly the other day, I made a bet Jamie Vardy would uh, not come on and score for England. If he did, I'd go and get an Arsene Wenger tattoo. What did Jamie Vardy do? He'd done exactly what he's done all season. He put the ball in the back of the net. So, Ian Wright and a few others didn't think that I would do this. I'm a man of my word. So, I'm gonna go and get an Arsene Wenger tattoo. Let's go. So you've got it done. He's been a man of his word, DT. He's got the, I mean, first of all, what, how stupid was that? How can you say that Jamie Vardy is not going to score a goal for England when he's been banging them in all season? What's the matter with you? Do you know what? I was watching the game and I didn't think we were even going to get the first goal. And it was, we got the first goal and all I see was everyone tweeting and talking about, oh, Vardy's coming on, Vardy's coming on. And I was like, nah, it's too Roy of the Rovers. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. I've been I know he's doing Roy the Rovers all season. I know he has, but I just felt that the step up, England and Germany, and I just didn't see it. And I thought, what's well, so how long's left? 15 minutes? Nah, he ain't getting no goal. And I was like, yeah, throw it out there. I'll get a finger tattoo if uh, he scores. 60 seconds later, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. And the thing was, everyone jumped on it so quick, I couldn't even delete the tweet. I couldn't even deny it or hide it. It was like, oh man, and let's then... See, let's see it there, let's see it again. You've got, I know you've got it all wrapped up in that sort of uh, foil stuff now, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's looking yeah. good. But, of course, you had to go and put a swing on it, didn't you? A little twist on it. Thanks yeah, for the memories. Come yeah, on. Yeah, of course. Why don't you just do a finger tattoo? What's the thanks for the memories business about? Well, what do you want me to say? I'm, I'm thanking him Actually, for the memories. You, know what? you haven't put time to say goodbye on it, though. No, I know, I know. I know. That, that, you that... want him to stay now? Nah, it's just that that, would, that costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I was like, nah, 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 I'll, I'll leave that piece. But oh, listen, at the end of the day, I said thanks for the memories because at the end of the day, like we've said all along, I do thank him for the good times because there were some good times in Let the me first. Ask you again. I'll keep asking you this. Now, if, if we get to the end of the season, right, and for <laughs> some, some way, we pulled it off and we won the league. Mm. Would you change your mind and say, right, you know what, he's got a year left. He's won the league for us. He pulled it off. Let me abandon the, the banner stuff and that for a, you know, he's got one year left. I'm just going to let him see that year out. Thanks for the memories. Give me one year, last year of great memories. And let's give you the almighty send off. What Would you be up for that? No. No, because do you know what? I think next season's going to be a different level, man. The, you know, you've got Pep coming in. You're going to have um, Klopp that's got six months or so under his belt and he's going to be buying his own players this summer. They're talking about Conte at Chelsea. Um, looks like Louis van Gaal's going to be going at Man United and uh, Mourinho coming in. Um, and then obviously you've got Tottenham. Let's see how Leicester do next season as well. Big competition. Big, big competition, and I feel so you that, wouldn't give him that last year. No, nah, because do you know what? I think it could, he could fall flat on his face again, and it could all just go pear shaped because next year could be the year that we finish outside the top four. If them big hitters all do what they're doing and, and they play to the potential, then we could end up, you know, it wouldn't be nice him in his last season failing to get us in the top four. Do you know what I mean? That would be the worst thing as far as I'm concerned. Or or the fans are, there's a mutiny between the fans and whatnot. And he doesn't spend the money this season. Or I'd rather if we won the league, he does a Sir Alex Ferguson. Walks out with his head held high. And then he can turn around to people like myself and all the other people that want him out and say, yeah, 
I think thank thank me for the memories now. I think, I think you turn around and sell it to you anyway. You know what I mean, <laughs> let me get you a tattoo. He said, you know what? You've done a great job. Come in, come in, say something. You've done a great job here, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. How, how long you been doing these tattoos for? For about nine years now. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he, he's had quite a few done, hasn't he? I mean, the, the, the clock thing on the neck and that. I mean, I like it, but I'd be too scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody ever pass out on you? Uh, never, man. No? Never. What about him? Was he ever, you know, he's trying to give it, I noticed he was giving it the tough, you know, sipping on a drink and that, but has he ever been on pain where he said, oh, please stop, please? Uh, never. No? Yeah. There's a load of people out there who'd love to hear that. You sure? <laughs> Tell me one more time. You sure he hasn't been under some serious pain with these tattoos? Oh, man, just sits there. <laughs> All right, listen, tell us about your shop again. Where can people come if they want to get a tattoo done? Because I, I saw your work. I haven't actually got a tattoo. You know what? I was supposed to get a tattoo done once and I wimped out. I might get one done. Tell us, where would I come to get it done? Right here, man. 16 John Street in Luton Town Center. All right. Yeah. Listen, you're a man of your word. Well done. You stuck to it. Yeah, you got the tattoo done. And uh, great work, mate. Great work. Uh, Arsenal Fan TV, DT, he's not going to give Wenger another year. He's done the tattoo. All right, he's put his little uh, slant on it. But respect yeah. you to him. At least he's done it. Well done to DT. Who are the 10 best players ever to play for Arsenal Football Club? Tough, isn't it? Here's my 10. 